Yo, what's up, fellas? We're back here in the garage, and we got some updates for you. I'm ready to put the fuel system in, and we're gonna show you uh, some of the parts and some of the factory parts uh, that we got going on over here. So let's get right to it. <laughs> so here's the uh, Division X fuel pump setup fuel hat we're putting in and the factory setup that we took out um my brother did the mods on the um passenger side of the fuel tank where you got to take out this little t because it won't be getting used anymore um so he bought this tool i didn't need it Screwdriver and hammer work just fine for me. But this is the stock setup. Um, dual pump setup. Now, I'm not sure of uh, what size the factory fuel pumps are. Um, and then this is the uh, Division X fuel pump setup that we're about to put in. Um, we got the fittings loose. Um, we got the fuel level wires crimped. Um, and then we got three 465s going in. Yep. Some big boys. Three of them. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the um factory feed line setup. Yeah. That's crazy. This whole feed line. So this goes up to the rails. The factory fuel filter and bracket. And then this line goes up to the tank. And that connects to the fuel hat at the tank. This is the factory setup that we got removed. Wasn't too bad, a little bit of pulling and bending. Not too much bending, but finagling out. Uh, a couple up and downs on the lift with the car. So take a look underneath so the factory feed line went up along the uh, firewall behind this header there was a heat shield that we had to remove we'll show you that in a second and then the lines are gonna get ran with these lines in conjunction with these lines and go up through the wheel well um, we had to take off the um, guard down here too, and then if you could kind of see up in there, that's where we're gonna feed them through. Well, that's where the line feed, factory feed line came down, and then ran along that spot all the way down. But we kind of had to like pry it and pull it down through there so I, I didn't want to cut or anything um they use um can't really see it but torque like a torque bit bit for the um bolt and it's like you can't even get in there straight which uh, kind of sucks Cause could, I couldn't get it loose <laughs> to try and maybe move this fuel tank, push it out of the way to make the line come out easier without cutting it. But we got it out. Um, <clears throat> so, let me show you this piece right here. This is the piece that we had to wiggle out that goes up in behind the header. 
that one in behind up in there. That's the heat shield we took out from there. We're gonna put this back in. Um, there won't be no fuel line or anything running behind it, but the insulation for the firewall and everything and the long tubes there, we're gonna put this back in. Um, and then this piece, this is the shield that, um, you know, ran the length of the car. So this piece right here went and covered all this area right here. That will be getting put back on. Um, and then there was another little piece in the back. This little piece right here. That will be getting put back on. So all this stuff came out. Um, my brother got the interior pieces out. Quarter plastics. Yeah, this car became, became kind of like a shelf. Um, we got the front seat out. Some of the seat belts. Um, and then this is the fuel lines that's going in. All PTFE rated. Um, from Lethal Performance. And all the rest of the fuel set up. The rails. The big boy filter. The regulator. And then the Y. And we showed you the injectors. So yeah, and here in a minute, we're gonna lower the car down and we're gonna get to it. So, hope you guys keep tuning in. Uh, I wanted to show you a little bit of uh, the fuel setup. Um, it's kind of interesting of, you know, the uh, stock fuel line. It supports, you know, up to 760 horsepower, probably more, but you've seen how little that fuel line is. And we're putting in some, uh, heavy duty stuff now so keep tuning in keep hitting them like share and subscribe buttons and soon we're gonna have this bad boy up and running so till then peace